Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some really fun ornament DIYs and some fun tips for how to get the look for less. It's gonna be a fun video, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram at Valerie Aguirre, and you can also now find us at elminco.com where you can enter your email, be subscribed to our VIP list, and you will be the first to know of new updates and fun things coming to elminco.com very, very soon. Okay, so moving on to our first DIY. These are some dried floral ornaments, and I originally saw this idea from Lorraine. She's my sister at Well Worn Interiors on Instagram, and I picked up some of these clear glass ornaments from Hobby Lobby. They were $8.99 and then 50% off. I also picked up some of this 100% linen string also from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99, and it's a real natural kind of rope. I also grabbed some rub and buff in the gold leaf color and a little goes a long way. You really don't need a lot. This I used a lot on all of these ornaments you'll see today. So this DIY is really, really simple. I just took these clear glass ornaments. I took the tops off. You just squeeze the little tops and they pop right out. I put the tops off to the side and then I put the ornaments back in the little tray because it makes them so much easier to work with when they're not rolling all over. So I just took some dried florals and they have so many different kinds at Hobby Lobby and then I just kind of measured them out and cut them. You have to try a couple times to get the right height. Um, that one was a little bit long so I shortened it and then I kind of got the hang of like how long I wanted them to be. And these are just your kind of standard size ornaments. They do have the really large ones, which are kind of cool too, but these are just the standard size. So I just kept cutting off little pieces of the dried florals and then shoving them in the ornaments. And I like the florals that are a little bit more kind of fuller. Um, if they have a little bit of weight to them or if they're like individual little flowers, they're just gonna sink to the bottom. So I feel like it's better to pick flowers that kind of puff out and will really like fill your ornament. And you don't wanna completely like pack them in. They're supposed to look kind of airy and light, earthy. So you don't wanna completely, you know, pack them in there, but um, I like a little bit of uh, blank space too. I feel like it looks better. These are the little bunny tails, I think they call them. And I have had these kind of reddish colored ones from the fall. So I don't know if you'll be able to find these in Hobby Lobby, you might be, but they also have them in kind of an ivory color. And I really like that ivory color. They didn't have that color at my store, but I have seen them before and they do look really cute. Another idea is the pompous grass and that looks really, really cute too. It fills them and it kind of has that really nice neutral color, but all of these natural like browns and warmer tones are very, very popular this season. So um, yeah, definitely try and grab your dried florals for this project soon because I have heard that they are selling out of the dried florals already. These turned out so cute. I love these warmer tones. These pretty, pretty colors are going to look so nice on the Christmas tree. And so for the tops, I just took some of the gold leaf rub and buff and just put it on with a paintbrush and let it dry. It dries super fast. And yeah, I just like that little gold touch that it adds to the top. It kind of matches those warm tones and looks really pretty. So for the top or the hanging part, I just used a little piece of this linen rope. It's kind of like a cording, um, also from Hobby Lobby, and just tied a little knot on top. Very, very cute and simple. Okay, so for the next project, I found these stars on Amazon. I think they were about $6 for this big 
pack and they're really unique. They're almost like a sand or something. They're kind of a really cool texture. So I'm just gonna take some of the same gold leaf rub and buff and I'm just going to um, paint them in the gold color. I just want a really simple, simple star. And once they are completely dry, I'm going to just put a little hole in them using a really small drill bit and it does not break them or crack them at all. I put the hole in the same place on every star and none of them cracked. So this is a really good way to add that little hole. And then I added some clear fishing line for the little hanger thing. And yeah, they'll just be really cute stars hanging in the tree. So for the next one, if you guys remember my antique shopping trip a few weeks ago, I found these little pencil sharpeners and I knew I wanted to make ornaments out of them. I thought they were so adorable. So I am just gonna take my same drill bit and drill a little hole in the top of both of these ornaments, the little antique radio, and then I also have the little antique choo-choo train. So once I drilled that little hole, I cleaned it off with like a napkin. Those are metal shards, so you wanna be careful with those. But um, then I found some of these little tiny, I think they're called screw eyes at Hobby Lobby. And I plan to just put these in there with a little bit of glue and let it dry overnight. I'm using the E6000 glue. I have never used this before, but it has already dried and they are in there really, really good. So it worked really, really well. Once I got the glue in, I just had to put that little screw eye in there and position it exactly how I wanted. I did add a little bit of extra glue kind of on the outsides where the little part comes around just to make sure that it would stick really well. I was a little generous on the glue, but it was worth it. I also picked up this little cowboy hat. It's kind of a um, clay or almost feels like a ceramic or something. Really, really cute. I did not like the color, so I knew I would be painting that. And um, I eventually went with a little bit darker brown because this one just didn't change the color too much. But this one was a very quick little change I'll show you in a minute. And then I also picked up some of these little keys from the antique store. I think they were like a dollar for like a handful of them. So yeah, I just wanted them a little bit more gold or kind of that brassy type color. So I just put a little bit of rub and buff and I like that they are kind of scratched and have that really antiqued look. So the rub and buff really kind of settles in and gives them that look that I was going for. The ribbon I added to all of them was also found at the antique store and it was the perfect little rust color. I love that little pop of color on there. The next DIY, I found these matte ornaments at Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 and half off, so that made them about a dollar. And I really liked that matte texture and they had really unique shapes. They even had one that I didn't grab. So I really wanted to keep that kind of matte and modern look, but still give them a little bit of color, maybe a little bit of sparkle if I can incorporate that somehow. So I started by clipping off the ribbon. I am not gonna be using that red ribbon. And then I went down the paint aisle at Hobby Lobby and I found these two paints. One is a chalk paint and one is a satin paint and using a little foam uh, brush, I just take the two colors and kind of put them next to each other, but mix them gradually. So I'll take a little bit of that um, beigey color and then a little bit of that bluish grayish and then just dab it on. And you can see as the two colors go on the ornament, they do blend and it gives them that kind of layered look when you have multiple colors like that. So I will just keep dabbing this on and then I do kind of brush it in a brushing type motion. There really is no rhyme or reason. Um, I kind of brush it more than I dab it, if that makes sense. 
and I'm gonna call that kind of the base color even though it's two colors you kind of want a good base so I also did this in brown and I'm going to show you how to incorporate a little bit of gold in there so I have a good brown base and then I just went in with some rub and buff and a small paintbrush so I am not completely covering the ornament in full gold I'm kind of just sporadically kind of painting some brush strokes on there with the rub and buff like I said a little goes a long way so you really don't even have to keep pulling from the pile of rub and buff you can just keep um, kind of spreading it out on the ornament you don't really need to incorporate more because there is so much you can kind of just use what you have on the ornament if that makes sense so and you want it kind of sporadic you don't want you know layers of gold on there you want it to look really kind of layered and worn antiqued it gives it that kind of worn and layered antiqued look and I really didn't waste any time right after I put the rub and buff on I went in with a little bit lighter brown color and just put it directly over that gold and I'm not putting a ton of paint I'm just taking a little bit and kind of really rubbing it on um, not even dabbing just straight rubbing it on and it really gives it that layered look where the gold kind of peeks out from underneath um, and I just keep rubbing that on and yeah it gives it that layered look and you can even if you put too much on you can rub it off with the same foam brush and yeah just until you're happy with it just keep putting some on and then taking some off and eventually it will have that layered and really neat kind of gold antiqued look peeking through. So I'm taking the same rub and buff I told you guys a little goes a long way and I'm just going to clean up that little top part right there and give it a fresh coat of paint in that same gold color. It pulls everything together and it's going to match all of the other ornaments that have that same gold perfectly. These are really, really neat. I was not expecting these to turn out as good as they did. And I'm so glad that I tried this DIY. I feel like they almost look a little bit like a mercury glass, but I really like the colors with the gold kind of peeking out. I feel like the browns, a little bit of blue, that goldish color is just really, really pretty. So I hope this video inspires you guys to try a new DIY and keep an eye out because we have a lot more holiday content coming and some Christmas decorating is on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.